Mom, here are the things I need for school this year. First of all, gel pens. Mom, this is what I need for school. She posted on her Instagram story. I need an Apple pen for my iPad. The scented maca's that smell like grape but don't get you high because dare is working. Uh, I also need new cartridges for my vape. The teacher never sees! I blow it into my... Pencil grips. I need new grips for my hoverboard. I also need a leash for my friend. He's a furry now. The troll dolls that go on top of the pencils that look kind of like they're being sodomized. He's a good boy. What do you mean, where did I learn it? VBS. Sodom and Gomorrah. Wing any bells? The Crayola crowns with the sharpener in the back. Lastly, I'll need a really fancy laptop and AR goggles and a riot shield. And a mechanical pencil so I can look like I'm injecting myself with it. Go Tigers, formerly known as Indians! Back to school, praying for all the moms out there. Uh, that's That's gotta be pretty awesome. I've been saying that, I'm like, oh man, can you, can you imagine that first day when all your kids are, just go to like the school all day? And you just have a few hours to yourself. We are so far. Oh, from that. dude, de just wait. <laughs> About seven, eight years from now, <laughs> you and I were going to lunch. <laughs> we Mark, it down. <laughs> Mark it down. Mark it down. Oh no, a long one, a long one. <laughs> you think seven or eight years? So we'll be together still. <laughs> Is that what you're asking? <laughs> I believe in you. Yeah, guys. I'm yeah. just not really sure. No, I'm just kidding. Long lunch, two hours, you and me, eight oh, years. Wow. Calendar. Is it gonna be like a little, like a boozy brunch? Or? Ooh, oh, <laughs> Whoa, Katie, 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 Katie. I don't know. I don't know parents. what you do. We're parents. You... <laughs> yeah, you're still parents. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Jeez. Okay. Uh, we are back with another episode of Correct Opinions. Uh, like, subscribe, sit back, relax, enjoy. Roll music. Correct opinions. Correct opinions. This episode is sponsored by Better Help. Therapy is good for you. Mm. Before therapy, I wasn't singing these tunes. But then I did better help. help. Finish it. Oh, and now I don't yelp. Better for help. help. <laughs> uh, I've done therapy. It's really helpful. And if you're considering therapy, look into better help. Look into it. It's entirely online. Designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire. And you get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. It Big is, fan. It is nice. Uh, one of my friends has done therapy. Oh, with some other company? No, Better with Help. BetterHelp. Yeah, he loved it. He, he, he loved it. Loved it. It <laughs> wasn't speech therapy. Yeah, he bloody loved it. Be honest it. about that. But uh, uh, so we have it off for you guys. Yes, let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelpcom correct today to get ten percent off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash correct. All right. Correct Opinions podcast live, second ever. Kansas City, September 6th. 6th. Mm -hmm. Get tickets. TreyKennedy.com slash tour. Uh, cannot wait. See you all there. Thanks for everyone who's already bought tickets. The live pod. It's fun. Very excited. Uh, see some more recties in person. Some of the Midwest recties. Yes. Centrally mm -hmm. located recties. Yeah. Like that. We had seen the Pacific Northwest recties. Mm -hmm. Um great yeah uh, a couple weeks ago indianapolis ohio saw some middle east directees so it'll be nice to get uh just get central everywhere. central america nice um we're excited <laughs> to uh to do some of that let's just should we start off hot with some fan stuff yeah let's do it let's uh we got a fan sub submission video submission thank you y'all send in your mm -hmm. video submissions to the correct opinions instagram Derek, who you got us? Who you got for us? Hi, Trey, Jake, Katie, family man Derek, and Thomas. I am reaching out as a fellow horse girl. I am oh. a professional show jumper. I also have a nine-month-old baby, so I really appreciate your guys' parenting content. Uh, we have a de-choker as well. Have not had to use it, and See? I really hope it stays that way. Absolutely. I am reaching out with more of a suggestion than a question. Oh. I went and saw you guys in Tampa. You guys were wonderful and oh. have the Moms Club sweatshirt. But what about some equestrian merch so that your mm. equestrian fans we get this can all the show time. their love? Also wanted to let you know that there is a hobby horse event here in Ocala in November. Mm -hmm. So if you want to use those sky miles and that companion pass on Southwest, head this way. That was awesome. Um, her horse, her hair was very even horse like. Horse, a beautiful yes. mane. Yeah. Honestly, I was so distracted the whole time because her necklace said B R O O, and all I was just thinking, I was like, "That's mm. it's gonna say broom." 
Her necklace says broom, I think. Yeah, what really caught up on that. Is that a type of horse? No. I don't know what the rest of the letters were. A broom horse? Broomstick. I think that's... Is it? Mm-hmm. Huh. A lot of uh, people who work in the horse industry, they will wear the necklace of their favorite horse. Hmm. And not even so, the name of it, just the species. Yes. So um, do you think we should <laughs> do like... I saw a lot of Clydesdale necklaces <laughs> <in> the Super Bowl. <laughs> do you think we should do like the tight equestrian pants or like more of like a riding mm. boot as merch? I have like a helmet. I think she's looking, yeah, just a shirt that says kick me <laughs> <laughs> might be most appropriate. We got a little horse girl beef now, which is interesting. Yeah. I didn't think, I didn't see that coming. Maybe a funny t-shirt that says put a carrot in my mouth. Mm-hmm. Got any sugar cubes? <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy me while I'm, while I'm not glue. Save me the apple core. <laughs> well, <laughs> If I break my leg, shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. Yeah. She, uh, <laughs> she. Wow. Horse, should we? We should sponsor the hobby horse competition. That should, How that could yeah. be that pricey. Right? How much does it cost to be the title sponsor of whatever she said? Hobby horsing in Ocala. If I've never heard of the connect city, us. Yes. Let us you know. You email bro. me. You connect me. I'll give you. You'll get a little finder's fee. And we're gonna sponsor one of these. One of these hobby horses. Uh, like. A hobby horse, like a racehorse kind of deal, that, that like we're like sponsoring to... <laughs> like a like a huh. person. No, or... I like buying a specific horse. Buying one. You know, okay. I've been getting okay. into okay. buying okay. horses. Oh wow, I didn't know you had money well, like big that. Business. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just a stick, mm -hmm. so it's not it's not as much as you think. Yeah, they're it's easy to maintain, really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, lifespan's good. I just I gotta just jockeys though. Can't trust them. Yeah, I mean, most of them are thirteen. Yeah, and women. <laughs> That is funny, though, to like get into hobby horsing from a business standpoint. <laughs> That's fantastic. Thanks for sending that in. Appreciate you. Uh, nine month old, no choking. Yeah, I know. We're going to have to start really looking into that. We need, start, we need to make food. a choking device. We'd make a gazillion dollars. Yeah, start making devices that like prepare people for things that are never going to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, sell people like, hey, you know what? That, you, know, you know what people don't have is an earthquake and tornado shelter. You might have one, but you what if an know. earthquake hits while you're in the bunker? You don't want to be below your house. Just tap into those motherly worries. Mm -hmm. It's very, it's just, you have a kid, you just can't help yourself. So we're going to make uh, a shower head that's lightning proof. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of moms <laughs> think that lightning can travel through your house. That was like a weird, I feel like we've yeah. talked about it before. Uh -huh. Like why? I we just heard a wise tale. It said, if you tickle his feet, they'll have a stutter. Yeah. <laughs> Katie's never going to tickle him again. No, yeah. no. This is lotion you could put on your baby's feet and still tickle him. Uh, we've worked with speech language <laughs> pathologists. You'll be just fine. Yeah, I've avoided. Like, what was his first word? Da, 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 da. <laughs> That's what we don't want. Too it is tickling. wild the amount of, especially like right after when like hormones are crazy, the amount of danger I could envision in any given room <laughs> for the baby oh my God. was yeah, her wild. Whole, she's writing Final Destination movies left and right. I mean, yeah. Was, She'll lean over in the middle of the night and go, what if the ceiling fan falls and crushes him? I was convinced the ceiling fan was going to fall down. And I go, <laughs> just move him out from under the ceiling fan. And she's like, okay. She's like if Jason Bourne was a hypochondriac. He's like just analyzing <laughs> yeah. everything in the room. Yeah. There are the exits. If yeah. there's a fire, yeah. we go this way. It's great. I mean, Instead of in the middle you of the night. Don't, you don't know your exit plan in any large event or anything. What was the other one? A lot of girls do that. You have to have an exit plan. What was another one that was really interesting? It was a crazy middle of the night. Like, do you ever think about... Um, what was it? Alien abduction. There was another one where I was like, "That's yeah. crazy." Okay, now I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a that's that's pretty typical. What if there's I'll... a fire. Yeah, we had to get I a little. I did do that. And I got a fire. I love. Water. I love. I don't know how this eases your pain. She has the choker still taped up in the box. It, by the time she gets it out, the person would be dead. Yeah. We got a la emergency ladder to get out of our window in case of a fire. Completely taped up in the box. <laughs> well, so, that's already like put together. Or just huh? to rip the box open and throw it over the window. You just rip it up, rip it open, and eat that easy. Are we positive that it's all ready to go in there? Is somebody like, required? Have we opened up the box like, ever? I never opened the box, <laughs> so it yeah, could be right. disassembled. As, you throw as, it as the, the fire is rushed in, <laughs> it's in twelve different pieces. I'm like, seriously, Katie, you didn't put it together. She's like, oh, why is that my job? You seriously say everything's my job? <laughs> Trick you know what is? Assembling. This yeah. is actually Everybody. good. Well, as we're burning alive, seriously, you always this do is this. So you, you always this do is so this. Ah! Pass me that Alan Rich. Oh, this is typical us. So you. <laughs> this really, this is, I had one of these thoughts this weekend when you were gone. I, as I was just getting ready for bed, my bedtime routine, I was 
considering ways that I could get down the fire ladder while holding Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is what I... <laughs> oh, is, my goodness. And I decided that if I can't just hold him, I could just take one of the sheets and make a little carrier. Oh, make okay. carrier. Okay. Smart. <laughs> Swaddle him. Put him in the pillowcase. And, and throw him and, out. And drop him down. <laughs> yeah. It's like an egg drop test. And yeah, drop an egg drop. No, I'm going to yep. carry him down. No. I oh. would carry him down. No, if, you in a pillow. if you weren't there. Oh, if I wasn't there yes. and a fire engulfed the house and the only resort is to go out the window, you're prepared. I am. I you know exactly to get that how pesky to box open. <laughs> make a makeshift uh, baby carrier with well, sheets. What would be the, uh, the order of operations? Like, those are fire. You start to see, you wake up in the middle of the night, Trey's not home, smoke is coming under the door. Like, what are the first five things that we do? I need to go back and review fire safety, but... Um, <laughs> Wrong answer. I was looking for go get no. Thomas. Yeah. Well, Thomas is still in our room right now, so uh, okay. that'd be easy. I would get out uh, the ladder. That? So, is that a Judge Jake? Uh, We're maybe, on the same page? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, yeah. We are. This morning I did the first one where I feel like we're... I think it's time. She's pushing it a little, but we're on the same page. But he woke up. It's getting to the point they get older. They can really wake up like normal humans. They don't just sleep through everything. My... He woke up at like six ish. He went back to sleep. I had an alarm for like seven fifteen, and that woke him up, and he was up up for the day. And I go, mm. if he was in the crib, that alarm wouldn't have woke him up. <laughs> Which was not. I, sh- I shouldn't have started the day with that. Right. That was a sassy yeah, yeah, remark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just following the American pediatrician guidelines. Yeah, uh, oh. APG. Yeah. Hmm. Look where that got Bronny James. I still follow him. <laughs> Where were all the heart problems before the vaccine? No, I'm kidding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cardio, cardiolitis. You hear like two instances. I don't I don't have a, not to pivot, I don't have an opinion on any of this stuff. I've never done research on any of it. Yeah, I have a sports marketing degree. I just, Barely. Yeah. I, I drink a bunch of aspartame and I <laughs> don't wear sunscreen. I don't know. I just kind of run with it. It's such a sign of the times. Everyone these days, we've talked about it before, but feels like they need to have an opinion on everything. Hmm. They need to be an expert on everything. And they need the to pyramids. share it. And you share it with other people who are uneducated. Hmm. I got sure, really strongly opinionated about red dye two days ago. Yeah. Ooh, there you totally go. forgot about it, though, by now. So. Yeah. <laughs> Had some Gatorade this morning. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I've yep, heard about yep, that. Yep. Red dye four. There is, there is scary stuff of, like, the European Union outlaws, like, a bazillion things that we're just, like, pumping in our yeah. food. Yeah. Like, oh. What's giving me one to avoid? And we're so fat. Yeah, is exactly. there one big one? The red dye is uh, big. The red dye. All the yeah. dyes and stuff. I don't know. Cereal. Like I, I want to say, I watched like half of this TikTok where I've seen and got bored. Yeah. And I kind of moved That's on. That's why I buy all the stuff I do. And then you, no matter you know what? what, no matter what, he, uh, he'll see something and he's like, why do you have to buy this weird uh. stuff? And then, <laughs> and then like months later, he'll, he'll be like. I, this is true. He, he will like be like telling his like friends. I've heard you like say other, to other people like, I'm oh in, yeah, I'm we in, have this like used, natural stuff. I use mineral sunscreen today. I saw it. She, Katie does. She does all the stuff. It's very annoying. Oh, we got to eat this now. We got to use this now. Oh, what's this shampoo? This, there's soap. It has sticks in it. It hurts. <laughs> but, then, but then that. months will go on and I'll, I'll read something or see something and like the sunscreen, like, ah, new banana boat. Uh, it gives everyone cancer. I'm yeah. Like, oh. And then, then you're like, she's, oh, Katie was she's right. like this new sunscreen. But the of course, there's a reason why they did all the weird chemicals in it. You ever tried to use the like healthy sunscreen? Yeah, you look it's like a like, ghost. Yeah, it's like trying to <laughs> rub in chalk. It's a horrible experience. But I bought some new kinds for the beach, so we'll see if we can find I used one today on the golf course, one of the mineral ones. And, and it was I wait, mean, it sucked. It just I looked like a ghost. You bought sunscreen that's for the beach? Like to take to the beach for us to wear. Oh, for you guys to use other. I thought this no. was like do not use this on the golf oh, course. No. Yeah, this when you get to the oh, coast, no, 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 this is no, no, beach no. only. Yeah, this no, works just, in certain latitudes. We're going to the beach next week, and so I just <laughs> okay. bought some some other mineral kind. So maybe it won't be as white. She I don't does. know. She's we'll worn see. me down. That makes more sense. The little kick I got on this wasn't really healthy versus non healthy. But if you guys like, have you guys basically essentially seen a TikTok like I have, uh, where it talks about like private labeling? Like Trader Joe's is really good at it. Like you think you go to Trader everyone. Joe's and you like, think like, oh, I like Trader Joe's. They have their own stuff, and no one they don't have to release where they get it from. The the way that you China. find out who's making the same stuff is when there's a recall, because mm. then you have to say like where it came from. And so it's like, um, I think pistachios are a, a good instance, like the the main pistachio company. What are they called? This uh, wonderful uh, planners. No, <laughs> whatever. No. It doesn't matter. Just the big pistachio company. They had to 
recall some of their stuff. And so it all goes back to the manufacturer. Well, then Trader Joe's also had to recall their pistachios. So then people start piecing it together right. like, oh, it's the same thing with a different label. Same with like anything that's great value in Walmart. It's the same thing, different label. Yeah, I saw, I learned that about Trader Joe's and it didn't affect me all because, because, okay, they're not making it. They're just buying the rights to put their name on it, mm -hmm. but they're doing a good job selecting it because yeah, all their there. stuff is awesome. Mm -hmm. The agree. snacks are, you never heard of this stuff. Chili, chili, gar chili, garlic cashews. Oh, Pretty good. They're so good. Don't recall those. Mm -mm. Uh, thanks for blowing up the YouTube, uh, the comments. We had Jane Williamson on last week. She's funny. I shot some videos with her. Yeah. It was a great time. Yesterday? She came to town. How was that? Yesterday. A lot of fun. She, uh, She's in Utah. We know the, the people of Utah love their clean comedians. I I just love her stuff. I was like, hey, we should shoot something. Maybe like, I was thinking like remotely. And she's like, mm -hmm. we'll come to you. Tell me who in. I was like, no, you don't have to. Like, we want to. Did they have another reason to be here? Her husband flew out for like 24 hours. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Wow. So they Did were. Did they try like swinging with you guys? Or was there uh, strings attached? No, or? No. <laughs> no, no strings <laughs> attached. Um, Yet. <laughs> yeah, that we've heard of. <laughs> that I've heard of. He might have planted something in the studio. But yeah. <laughs> we had a good time. So thanks for uh, guessing that up on the podcast last week. A lot of the comments enjoyed Jane. We had some, we've made some videos I'm really pumped about. Yeah. Let's just say, and one of the videos I bobbed for apples. Oh, wow. Which I... Sounds like they did get what they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. That is that is one activity that surely fall festivals do not do anymore post covid yeah COVID i don't know if i've ever done us. it it doesn't seem like something i'd be good at having to sink your teeth into a soaking wet apple oh, the, the fan today would be a brilliant at it. <laughs> yeah broom mm -hmm. broom would be great broom would <laughs> what is in the office she comes up she's like i ate two whole apples <laughs> yeah. it's all time um people saying uh they got a comment here says utah moms equals jersey moms that is interesting a lot of people like the alien segment. Yeah, big fans of Jane. They say one of her favorite comedians. Uh, Anna Buffini, our other horse girl, uh, commented on our fantasy football talk. She said, I unfortunately ended up with all the criminals on my fantasy team last year, but I won the league. Wow. <laughs> Price you pay. <laughs> Morally, oh. she did not win. No. There were no winners in that game. <laughs> um, that was great. And then we, yeah, Macy, said, Ma Macy commented, the shirt maker. Shirt Macy. Mm -hmm. Let's go. There was a different Macy that commented and said, we spell our names the same way. Yeah. <laughs> They're besties now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we just hang out. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't um, understand the KD on the back of my shirt, the, you know, start of it. I will say my brain, you know, last night I was out with my friends and three separate oh. times I was in the middle of a sentence and just went. I don't know the rest of the sentence I was going to say. Oh, that is not so, good. A little yeah. concerning. Oh, wow. So sorry to understand the joke at the beginning. <laughs> it's not firing correctly right now. Yeah, Katie, <laughs> it's like one half of your body starting to get numb. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is everything okay? I'm not sure. Katie McConnell over there. Katie McConnell. I, uh, I think a lot of dads relate to this. I beg Katie to go out, do fun things, because she's, you know, the, the moms, they love the baby too much. <laughs> it is true it and i'm just true. like leave them yeah. and she goes and she yeah, had some yeah. friends she went out several hours and i chatted up she came home i mean you would have thought she just got back from italy or something <laughs> she was like hi like yeah it looks like you, you look like you're on top of the world it was so fun look get this and then she started just telling me all they talked about so you gotta do it more you should uh-huh we uh super fun speaking of love not like loving it too much oh i had a joke last night katie She's helped me get a couple bits. You feel like your your wife Rachel helps you write bits. You, do you think she's legitimately funny at times? Because Katie, last night I go, <laughs> you know, uh, are you proud of this? You know what I'm gonna say? We were laying in bed yeah, and I, uh, what was it? It was like uh, I I when I say a joke, oh, I think it's funny because I also laugh at it. And Trey thinks she, that I'm not supposed to laugh at it, but why would I say she's it? Too if proud I think of the it was funny. Too proud of the joke. Yeah, she, we're laying there. She we're just talking about oh, one of our best friends just had a baby. Congrats to them. And we're just, I was just like, man, they're going through it right now. I was just like thinking back to the, the first few weeks of, mm -hmm. and he was like, we're going to get, we're going to get to do that again. I was like, get to do that. Oh my God. I, I mean, I dreading doing that again. All day yesterday. I was like, they didn't have thinking about them having the baby. And I was like, oh, I can't wait to do that again. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. And she goes, isn't that wild? Like 
we're the ones who really go through it and like we want to do it again. I was like, well, it's different because we don't really like love it at first. The baby. <laughs> and she goes, well, welcome to sex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then she died laughing. That's I was awesome. like, well, I kind of, that was funny. <laughs> Katie really. Uh, wow, Katie. I feel like every couple has this. Do you have, I'm the one who's like, please go to bed. Please stop talking. She really comes alive at 1130. That's <laughs> horrible. That's happened a few times where I've heard from eight to 10. All I've heard is like, oh, so tired. <laughs> so tired. Yeah. Yes. And in the second we're horizontal. Yes. I mean, it's like I'm in a jungle gym or something. I mean, she's bouncing around. Tickles and fun. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Oh, my God. What happened? She's like, I don't know. Oh, I, I like so your excited. new haircut. <laughs> Get off me. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Oh, it's so real. It's real. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it's a real thing. <laughs> mm, that's so good. Uh, speaking of babies, a little hot topic, a little, little debate. What do we want to hear from the audience? Red dye number this four. Let's get Red back dye. into it. Derek, do some research. <laughs> uh, there, there's been this funny comedic trend of people joking with the, they'll throw like, my 227 month, teaching them to swim, they'll throw them in the pool. Uh -huh. This trend of throwing like, a 15 week old baby like in the deep end and just like waiting till it like surfaces thoughts on that i haven't Support seen one it, of those videos in a while and I'm, i really have a hankering to see one of those videos yeah, derek, derek pull up the, this one, the best one. one you can find oh my gosh oh, ooh. under what submerged so that is a cute little baby that is cute whoa one. Who find one? Do a Google of like uh, safety baby, what is fully called? clothed baby in <laughs> deep it's, end. It has a name. I can't think. It's like of the a name. sick thing to Google. For I can remember, they don't they like toss them in like face first. I mean, like they, they toss like them. with all their clothes because they're yeah. trying to simulate like what if, if they, they flop they in, in like a shipwreck. Yeah. And you get the logic, but man, watching a watching a four month old in a jacket just uh, yeah, I don't know if I could, to watch. I don't think you could watch. I don't. I you would don't never think let I could us, do that. No. I, mm -hmm. I will say I've never seen what we just said. And every there. time we do bath, I try to oh, hold them under mean. and she mm -hmm. gets so upset. Are you sure you guys want to watch this? this yeah, is, we yes, do. This I is really what people want to. Do. Derek's oh, Derek's against. Wow. Hot take. Oh, <laughs> oh kind of comma like a suplex there. Uh, yeah. I You've been like suplexed the by the spirit. Is baptized. Oh my I mean, god. It's working, I guess. Okay, this is a baby who already knows how to do it. You have to find the babies who don't yeah, know how to get do a first it. Oh, timer. Katie really wants to see it. Wow. <laughs> well, oh, that's we got a new baby. Katie's like, don't show Michael Phelps' kids. That Let's see. A, oh. oh, smack him on the forehead. Survive his skills. Wow. Well, what if you're on a Southwest flight and it crashes and you're in the middle of the ocean? It's a castaway situation. You're six months learn, old. Learn to make fire. Can float. You know, it's one of those six things hours. where... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a... It's like a I don't know Uber Catholic baptism. If we were like around, if we like had to be around water all the time, or like if you were a sailor, it could be yeah, helpful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pirates, yeah. Um, I feel bad if shampoo gets you work on oil rigs. I know <laughs> body slips. oil rigs. But you know what I mean. I mean, I feel like there are like if you had a pool that was just a step out your back door or something. I don't know. Yeah, just. Don't let them flop in a pool, right? Like I don't. It's like, yeah, we've uh, we've been putting pads on them and throwing them down the stairs, <laughs> just practicing kind of the what the body happens? control. Because you know, what if we lose an eye on him and he flops down a flight of stairs? He'll know how to embrace himself a little better. We've we've been purposely. I'm on my sixth car. We've been crashing, <laughs> trying to teach him. Kind of just like, don't tense up the neck. Because if you tense up the neck, they say it's way worse. The drunk drivers are the ones that survive. So we lull them to sleep, lull them to sleep. And then Katie <laughs> rears into me. <laughs> so we're getting all these things down. Well, what? So what age What age is the appropriate age to start swim lessons? Derek? Uh, they, people do them young. We started three, four. Three, three and a half. And okay. it was a flop. We, we didn't learn too much. <laughs> <Nice>. so. <laughs> okay, okay. You didn't do swim lessons, did you, Katie? Um, I got swim lessons taught by Brad Byram. Your dad, yeah, that's yep, not a swim my lesson. dad. Yeah, I I have another take about this. I think it's very obvious. Kind of thing. It's super obvious as adults what kids got swim lessons and who did it. Do you think I'm a bad swimmer? I don't think I've ever seen you stride out a freestyle. You guys never swam for each other? 
<laughs> Rachel and I did that very early on. Mm-hmm. I won't date a bad swimmer. We, I can beat you swimming. We swam oh. laps. Oh. Oh. Have the swam. live show, the oh, live show in Kansas goodness. City. We're gonna have a remember? fifty meter freestyle race. We have. Well, swam. you're built like a swordfish. It's not really fair. <laughs> <laughs> we swam laps, and I beat you. Where and when? In our pool, in I think the pool in Italy. We've done it several times. In this pool, we raced swimming. Yes. You've lost your mind. <laughs> we raced in Italy. He, he Where? likes to pretend anything that I beat him, and he acts like it didn't happen. You, we, Italy, our honeymoon, our the beautiful, serene, romantic. We were just kind of resort like, we pool. You and I were, ra- we racing. were racing. <laughs> no, we, we didn't. We weren't racing, but we were kind of like, oh, let's just kind of swim back and forth a couple of times. We were like really cold, and I started doing it, and you were like, oh my gosh, you're fast. I rem- I specifically remember texting Trey saying, "Hey, how's your two week Italy vacation going?" And he said, "Can't can't talk much. Yeah. Have to beat Katie in a fifty meter freestyle." Not good. <laughs> Was this before <laughs> or after bad the food poisoning? Yeah, before or after. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, we really we yeah. didn't race. But all I have to say is, you can tell the kids. Can you dive? That's a big, that's a telltale Mm, sign. Can you dive? Not really. You ever seen a dork try to dive? You can't. (laughs) Can you dive? I I don't know the last time I've dove. Dive. Did you get swimming lessons? Purely swimming, not jumping. I didn't get jumping lessons. Well, part of swimming lessons was teaching you to dive. And that's like. Like how to safely dive. My whole life, I I guess I learned this when I was four or five. So I love flipping around and diving. It's very Mm. easy. And I remember I've had a couple buddies as like 19 year olds be like, Oh yeah, just dive, dude, and you and just belly flop. You're like, oh my goodness. Oh well, I can. Yeah, I can not belly flop into the water and dive. Yeah, no, you yeah. can't dive. Yeah, no. I really want to see this happen. You know what, Rachel's weirdly we're, not. We're getting the pool after this. <laughs> <laughs> Dead our, serious. We're gonna dive into our three foot pool. I can do it. Trey knows how to do it safely. He's yeah, trained. I know how to do it safely. Professional. Don't try it at home. Uh, Rachel, I'm faster swimmer than you. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Better help mm. uh i've done therapy solo mm. did premarital therapy with katie sure did <sighs> saved us yeah oh, not right. <laughs> we're gonna get married anyway but it's very helpful yes and i'm a big believer in therapy and if you're considering it you should look into better help better help is uh therapy done better more convenient online entirely for, online yeah entirely online flexible <laughs> suited to your schedule all you got to do to get started is just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. And you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. I've, I've had buddies use it. They rave about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's a, it's a great feature that you can always switch and it doesn't cost you anything. I wouldn't recommend switching a therapist every session, but technically you could yeah. do it. Try all. There's so many of them. Why not? Try, <laughs> yeah. try to get through them all. Go crazy. Uh, so try better help today. We got an offer for you guys. Let therapy be your map with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash correct today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash correct. Rachel, Division One volleyball player, very athletic, very capable. Oh, you never told me that before. However, <laughs> for some reason, never grew up roller skating mm. and doesn't really know how to do it. Really caught me off guard on about the sixth I date. I think that might be like... An age thing. She's just below enough to wear. Wow, like, you're saying roller skating was out? Yeah, I thought you were yeah. going to say a, a height thing. I thought you were going to no. stand That's up for That's a good. It. See, women, they have a nice. She's she's in tune. That's like, right. Because every third when we were in third grade, dude, rock and roller skate skated. night was lit. But she's yeah, just by a the couple time she years was doing younger. It, they, were like, they were playing. Just that few years. I know it's not a ten, but just that few years, it like <laughs> it became less cool. I think. Wow. Wow. That's I my take. That's right. It's not her Makes fault. You think. It's not her. Hey, she's it's not, not her, her fault. fault. She does look, I mean, like a like a fish out of water. It's, really? It's, it's, <laughs> it's your it's her ick for you. It's just one of those things where I'm like, are you are you messing? Just like just use the outside of your foot to push up. Like this should be pretty intuitive in like five minutes, mm-hmm. and then like five minutes go by, and I'm like, are you trying to get? Have better? you ever gone ice skating? Yeah. I have once. I don't really I have no it. desire to do it. It's freezing oh, cold. Big it's ice so skater. fun. <laughs> I took a hockey class in college. Oh, I, I'm a good ice skater. I, okay, I like. I, I also like to am see too. that. Michael ice Scott vibes. Fun. We did yeah, you, got, you guys raced, didn't you? We raced and I won. <laughs> Katie can do it. You ever been where someone's like, they can barely move an inch on ice skates, and you're like, I. How do you do not? Have, do you have trick skates on? <laughs> it's the same thing as rollerblading, just I mean, colder. I mean, I didn't. I wasn't just cruising around backwards and stuff, but you know, you kind of. 
the people who get out there and they can't even stand up. You're like, ah. I would like to learn how to go backwards on any kind of skate yeah, or blade. Very cool. Move. Never got taught that. The or physics the, don't make the sense. The step. To me. Can you do the step over rollerblade turn? Oh yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I feel Ooh, good with that. Cool. Yeah, I feel good. that's cool. I can do that confidently. Um, Pretty cool. Also, just pulled up a clip here of. Uh, I'll text it to Derek, I guess. Um, just the first three seconds of this video, Derek. I feel like we. We're, is it rollerblading that. as well? It's uh, kids rollerblading into a pool. Um, <laughs> Sounds awesome. <laughs> no, this is just uh, another baby pool thing that I found. And this one seems a little meaner than even the other ones, potentially. This is one of Christ. Just the first few he seconds. It's like prep lessons. Oh. He sits on the wall and we launches. This is one of Crosby's oh. many so it's water like, come to mom, come to mom, come to mom. It's going to be fun. <laughs> it's it's on moves their arms over your life. Perfect to roll over to a back float. I like on that. This day, he began Mom's chilling. He's got a little cute little jeans on. I just think that's got to be so confusing for the baby. Like that's got to build some like antitrust issues. Yeah, gonna come have... on. Mom's got gotcha. you. Mom's got gotcha. you. We're going to have a bunch of psychopaths in 15 years. <laughs> yeah. I had, I had mommy issues. We really? Just ran a... Your mom wasn't around? She her arms weren't around when I would jump into the pool. Like high school kids just going like a like a oh yeah you're invited to the birthday party it's a pool party he just jumps in and comes out ah! oh, yeah. oh, I don't know what happened yeah. you know, just floats there <laughs> he's a Pav- hey but why do you, you know, why do you have your jeans on that's what I was gonna say he's a Pavlonian response to floating I can only do it in jeans I, that's how I learned <laughs> sorry I'll be right back need to put on my Wranglers excuse me. <laughs> That's great. All right. Let us know in the comments. That'll get people fired up. Uh, you said Rachel's ick is rollerblading. Katie, do, you, do I do I have an ick? Um, I'm trying to think. Something that makes you really go, I don't like. I feel like there is. Can you not think of it? You, do I give you the ick doing something? I don't know about the ick, but it does really annoy me when you pick your beard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's just, I'm catching. Whoa, I was out of nowhere. She's on the hidden right you now. You literally asked me. <laughs> that was out of nowhere. Yeah. What in no, the world? That's not an ick. <laughs> yeah, that's not really an ick. I don't. Wow, no icks. Cool. I bet next week we'll have one. Yeah. Your, um, yeah, what's. Your ick is um, your bedtime routine when I walk in. For some reason, she has to get. If, if this is the mirror, she has to get this close. <laughs> and she's like. Doing I'm all just this. Really just really did face. like. I'm just seeing. Like, looking sure. all in her mouth and her. You gotta check it all out. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh, cool. All right. Thomas is going. We're going to race. Loser has to throw Thomas in the pool. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Have I told you guys that Rachel and I did a foot race one time? That was pretty Ooh. fun. So oh, I yeah. encourage you guys to do the the swim race. The it was pretty fun. fun. 800 meter, right? Yeah, I did 800. Yeah, that oh, sucks. That sounds awful. Yeah, it was not great. Did it in like November. But you guys should swim race. Katie might get me in the 800, man. Not right now, but give me a few months. <laughs> once you start training. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, once I just run since having a baby. Well, I, I wasn't much of a runner. She's always been a good runner, and we would go on jogs in like the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And it's, cr- it's crazy how egotistical a guy can get. I would get so, so mad. Yeah, he's she's like, better stop at running. running. He would be I would have to be like, I got to stop for a breather. And I'd just be like, just go without me. Like, this, yeah, I, I'm he, holding you back. Yeah. Just go. Just go. I'm like, we're out And then her together. reaction is to like laugh like that. Like, you're doing fine. And then, which would make me <laughs> stop. Stop laughing. Oh, man. Yeah. She can run. That's man. why you started training for running while I couldn't, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Catch up. A lot, exactly. of that, you know, the Pel- She's like, I'm going to Peloton. I was like, you can't beat my record. Mm. <laughs> yeah, back on top. That's, you know, I did just have a baby. Just, so just watch out. Give me a few more months. Okay. Going down. Have you ever done like okay. a half marathon or anything like that? I'm I, I, scared. Are you scared? Not, let's you do scared? it. <laughs> you know, last year on tour, you remember I tried to do it a tour um, race. Tour race at the at the very beginning of the tour. Oh, I was yes. like, you wanted us. I was race. like, let's all let's all train this w- entire time we're on the road, and then we'll all it's do a like a effort, race together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I got zero <laughs> response. Zero. So yeah, I was like, guys I'm, pissed, like ah, this guy brought his wife on tour. She's trying to get us to run a marathon. Yeah, like I'd be he, down to. We got baby carrots on the tour <laughs> rider. This is brutal. 
Yeah, it's a great effort. It was a end. fun idea. I like the idea of something happening throughout the tour. Right. At the end, we see who's the best. I was like, but I would as long as it's golf. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, doing, I think we should do that. I do was that. like aiming for something that was like a free activity that you know you could all do together. But. I would maybe do an online shopping uh, contest with you. I feel like I do more of that when I'm on the road. Mm, so I would for sure win. Actually, someone said, I think in the comment oh, last yeah. week, they were like, can we get an update every weekend that Trey's out of town? We want to hear from Katie like, yeah. what she bought that weekend. They want like a rundown oh. of what you're buying. So I guess okay. keep track. Ugh. I tried to uh, do a nice gesture. I he bought did. Katie a little handbag last weekend on the road. He brought did. it back. You know, hey. St. Louis Cardinals themed. <laughs> uh, but I actually bought a one, yeah. Oh, totally. Because we joked, I got a St. Louis Cardinals one. Shout out people of the Cardinals who gave me some fun stuff. We were in St. Louis, but that's just I. I really like to think I'm pretty good. I walked in the store, it was a, 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 some chick store, and a girl working there. I was like, listen, I got a wife. I'm trying to do this. Pro move. She's like, can I see her Instagram? Ooh, so she, that yeah. is a good salesperson. She's, trying, she's getting a stance for her style. She's like, I think I like. She'd like this. She like this. I went with one, and Katie. I, I love this, but sometimes I hate it. She She's brutally honest. She just doesn't care. And I'll be like, do you like it? She's like, I mean, I don't. Okay, no, 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 no. no, 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 no I'm going to tell, it, accurate. not I'm not gonna tell it accurately. I go, do you like it? And she's like, I mean, I I would never typically buy like a kind of like a glossy, shiny one like this. But that's why it's great. Because I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> that's what makes so a good now gift. now I have it because I wouldn't have picked it. Which... <laughs> I was just like, I said that after he five times said, okay, but do you really like it? Be honest with me. Do you like it? Just tell me if you like it. After he berated me, is be my honest. Will you swim as fast as you can? Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> be like, honest. Could you have kicked harder? That again. is the only reason I said anything. I, I was used so insecure it last about night. it. He was like, so I, I said, she used it last night. Dude, being a weird married, dude, a married man in your 30s is wild. She got back and I was like, did your friends compliment the purse? Did yeah. that ever come up? Or did, did you they, have to bring it up? Did they see it? And they're like, oh my gosh, where did you get that? I said, next time you give me a gift, just like be confident in it. <laughs> <laughs> we found the uh, unconfident gift giving. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't secure for sure. Like you have good style. You should be okay, confident thank you, in it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Maybe I, I hope someday to develop the the knowledge to be unconfident. Because I think right now, ignorance is You're bliss. Like, Nailed it. I get Rachel something. She goes, oh. Thank you for the bright green shoes. And I say, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> and just go about my day. I'm sure she did love them. You know what? She is always wearing big hoop earrings. Mm -hmm. I'll get her I'll get her a set of those. I yeah. like them. They touch her shoulders. <laughs> yeah. They're so big. You don't sit there for for 10 minutes after and be like, okay, like tell me, tell, tell me, me, tell me exactly. Do you really like it? Five favorite things, five least favorite Hold things about the gift. Yeah. I'll, I'll hack a loogie on you. Tell me, tell me. Yeah. That's, that's how I like to give gifts. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, this is uh, Rachel's style of uh, getting gifts is five months before my birthday saying, got you something for your birthday. And I was oh, like, wow. oh, wow, like, that's awesome. And, you know, not trying to play any games. She's like, oh, wow, that's cool. Whatever. Go about this. And then she'll like come back in like, so do you, like, do you want any hints? I'm like, oh, no, I'm good. You know, I'm good. I'll just, no. just see it when I get it. You don't want one hint. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And she's like, all right, the hint is don't go in my closet. <laughs> okay <laughs> okay uh, all right man, on she's on top of it five months before yeah i mean who knows what it is but uh yeah i'll let you guys know it's coming up coming up they tell you guys that rachel and i are switching birthdays too does that sound like new information i can't remember what i've told mm, that is new information so we were talking about the other day i've always had a summer birthday rachel's birthday like most people has always been on the same day too and hers is january 2nd which is probably one of the worst days to have a birthday. That's not great, no. Not only is it close to the holidays, but also like, I feel like by January 1st, you're like, whew, we're done. Yeah. We're done celebrating people. I'm out of money. I'm out of energy. It's like, oh, I got to gear back up for Rachel's birthday party. She said as a kid, it was never fun. So I was like, all right, in 2024, we're going to start and we're going to switch. So my birthday is January 2nd and hers is August 27th, just for 2024. Going to give her a summer birthday. Also, I get two kind of back to back, which is nice. <laughs> I get two in like wow. four months. Two oh, in four wow. months is wild. Yeah. yeah. That'll be good. But then I have to wait a long time. So. <laughs> Thoughts, you know. questions. Oh. Um, Pretty cool. So are you like going to have your families do the same thing? Or how how big is this? Is just this between I, you two? Oh, true. Is yeah. This like, how big are I think just between us. Facebook profile. Oh. 
every Facebook. You're just you're texting. It. It. It's not ours. We switched this year. Yeah, we switched. You're texting everyone. You know, please text Rachel. Happy birthday. <laughs> Today's her birthday. Uh, yeah, having a sucky birthday. It's a bummer for some people. It's because Katie, it's day after Christmas. Day after Christmas. Yeah. I mean, she's never had a birthday in her life. No. Katie's was. Uh, hers is start of February. It was always Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. They extended the season a week. Now it's now it's free. Groundhog Day. Yeah. 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 So she gets a little more love. Mine's a week before Thanksgiving, which okay. I always thought was kind of cool. It was. Yeah. It would like my birthday would tend to be towards the end of that week. Um, leading up into where you just had like the Monday, Tuesday of school and three days off. That's kind of nice. And so it was kind of like birthday, just two days of school, Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. It was kind of, it was an all, it was a nice 10 day stretch for me. And now it's bumped up enough to Thanksgiving where I go, well, I'll see you Thanksgiving. We'll do it then. <laughs> and it's nice. <laughs> just kind of throw it in because I don't want to. And now my was niece born. was born two days away. Mm-hmm. So I'm good, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm done. No more birthday for him. Yes, I turned 30. That's the last one. We're good. That's yeah. The See last you one at 40. Count. Oh wow. Maybe if I figure out this cholesterol thing. <laughs> I always enjoyed the late August birthday. See you there with one side of my body. <laughs> the uh I feel like all the holidays uh correlated with all the sports video games I wanted as a kid. So it's like late August, sweet, I get Madden. Christmas, I get NBA Live. And then Easter, generous parents, I get MLB base, MVP baseball. Oh, it was oh, a yeah. great setup oh, for yeah. all my video games. That's Every birthday is Call of Duty. Yes. Call of Duty comes out mid, no, like a week before my birthday. It was a default. Wow. You know what I want. Didn't even realize that. Wow. So violent. Every November. And look at you now, all those video games. Yeah. I, I, I lashed out the other way. My beginning of February because if there's something I didn't get for Christmas that I really wanted, it was kind of like my second round. Like, mm, it's kind of following up. Yep, yep. Oh, you remember? I kind of still wanted that. Kind of like recircle it on the list. Yep. That's nice. That's mm-hmm. nice. You, you didn't have like a reoccurring gift though? You always spiced it up? What's the best gift you ever got as a kid? Well, that's tough. Fired you up. I feel like I remember the gifts less and more of the parties. I remember the parties too. My mom like Oh, uh, what was the best per- what was the best birthday party? Threw some good Bangers. birthday parties. Um We uh we had a trend where every one of us we were obsessed with this like gym, like a gymnastics gym. Mm-hmm. Huh. Jim Nance. We loved him. Where he just jump in the ball pits and oh, yeah. the trampoline yeah. and we just all for a full calendar year, like 12 birthday parties were at the same place. <laughs> it was so fun. We, um, I think I was in the probably like third or fourth grade. So I was like starting to get into like, you know, doing my hair and stuff. My mom had like a, a true hairdresser come. So and do all of our hair and we put up a backdrop and like took photos and like painted Ooh. our nails as like a third grader. You like thought you were just, you thought you were a celebrity. Yeah. Like someone's doing my hair and putting makeup on That's me. That's pretty cute. It's pretty fun. Then they threw you in the pool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Clean that out. Get the jeans. When I turned nine, I think it was the year 2000. So it would have been uh, the summer Olympics for like going on Y2K. during my birthday. Yeah. We, Y2K. We got through that. And so in our yard out in, on the farm, we had, my dad had made the entire like summer Olympic games mm. for my birthday. And so we had like set up hurdles. We did, mm, uh, we fun. did swimming, you know, just all javelin. One kid. <clears throat> he died. He, yeah. yeah, he had a kind of a tough day. Um, <laughs> to not the javelin survive the, the head, yeah. yeah, the javelin and the rib cage. But we all had fun. And honestly, Keegan wasn't our favorite anyway. Yeah. So it was nah. fun. But yeah, that was a really memorable birthday. Love it. Uh, let's get to some segments, yeah? Okay. Yeah, this is it. fun. Uh, I've got a little bit of a... i got a, a fun article I found, slash segment. It's been a little while. This is a crazy white baby names um, inspired article. Um, we got to play the thing. Outraged woman blasts Americans for naming their kids after cities in the UK. A British woman has lashed out. And American parents who named their children after places in England. But, but, but then they changed the spellings. While names like Chester and Carlisle could be forgiven maybe as fairly normal, <laughs> one disgruntled mom took particular offense to someone named after a famous city. She writes in a Reddit rant, I'm from England. My American friend's cousin's girlfriend is called Lacesta. Okay. Le- oh, it's 
I mean, it's just a bad the, name. The mother pronounces the word as Leicester. What? Le- Leicester. This can't be right. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. The the city is called is Leicester, I believe, and they named their do- their daughter Leicester. Got it. Leicester. <clears throat> Leicester, dude. Leicester. <laughs> yeah, Leicester. She's a she's yeah. She's going off. She's like I can't. Um, people reading the post were g- driving back saying, you know what? I'm gonna name my baby Milton Keynes, and you can't stop me. Um, I'm gonna name my kid Devin Norfolk. I guess that's a British thing. But oh, and then after commenting on how David and Victoria Beckham named their son Brooklyn. Oh yeah, British Nick mm-hmm. K. You're stealing our stuff. Um, that the woman really didn't have a defense, but obviously Brooklyn <laughs> yeah, is yeah. <laughs> way better than Lachesta. That's what people should be protesting. Is right, that how right. bad of a name it yeah. is? You don't name a girl anything with the word chest involved, and you don't yeah. put le oh. in front of it. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> Chesta Lachesta. Yeah, that Just. poor girl. I don't know. There's cool England. Yeah, that's just a weird choice. There's cool England towns. Like, name your son. Uh, like, why would it matter if if an American named? It's it's like almost like a cool thing. Like, wow, they liked us enough yeah. to want to name Flattering. us. Flattering. Wow. Yeah. This little, is my boy. Little Dublin. Yeah, Liverpool. Pools. Little, little pools. pools. Swimming. Little liver. 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 Big liver. You ever had liver? The you went on liver. You're a big health nut. If they say liver is really good for they you, they do. But I just, I just, I also don't eat meat, so that's where I'm conflicted. It's not meat. It's not meat. We found a vegan liver. It's not meat. It just is too. It's, the texture is pretty similar. Yeah. Okay. If you're a vegetarian, can you eat liver? It's an animal. I guess you don't it's eat an animal, animal pro- byproduct. But then, but they, but they have all the dairy and stuff. Vegetarians no meat, not an animal product. That's vegan. Right. So no meat is liver a meat? Well, it depends on why you don't eat meat. If you're eating it because no, you no, 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 love no. pita. <laughs> meat. Is liver meat? <laughs> yes. Ow. What is the definition of meat? I don't know. What is it? I think the definition of meat is the muscle and fat of a cow. Is A cow specifically. Of an animal. <laughs> and it has to be a cow. Meat is the flesh. That's the word I was looking for. Instead of muscles. The flesh. Now is liver flesh? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's an organ, dude. Mm. Derek, you eating livers? No, I can see did you get on the on Liver board. King rant a little bit. You got, a, you got... <laughs> eating, taking the liver pills. Yeah. <laughs> um, I dropped off. Quick, white baby names, and wh- I think I have a segment. I just yes, remembered yes. it. <clears throat> I have a dramatic reading. I forgot about this. I saw this on my own personal Facebook, which I f- it feels fun to find this at your own. Like no one had to send this to me. Derek, can we get some? Dramatic music. Does this going. person listen to the podcast if they're like your personal friend? We will find out in the comment section when this comes out. <laughs> ah. uh, but yeah, this is just legitimately a friend. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> We're going to strap in. Hi. I've come across something new that I'm incredibly passionate about. It's something that sets my soul on fire and aligns perfectly with everything else I'm already doing. This one thing is going to allow me to help more people than I ever could have imagined. Wow, I imagine bigger. And I'm so grateful that one of my friends and mentors shared this with me because it's been the missing link to achieve, Sasquatch? To achieving one of my biggest dreams yet. Oh, okay, not Sasquatch. And I would have been devastated if I wasn't included on it. We both have built multiple six-figure businesses with our first big online business build, and we're about to add another revenue stream and do it all again. But this time it's going to look much different because there is no building a team or depending on other people. This is not network marketing. Less time commitment, less stress, less hustle, more relaxation, and it will allow us to continue working towards building a life by design where our new businesses can run in the background while we live life and start to create lucrative income streams from them. That was one sentence, dude. Holy cow, this is rough. The same gut feeling I had when I started Monet Uh. is the same gut feeling I had when I came across this. And that's how I know it's going to be big. I hear all the time from people that their one regret with Monet is they wish they had started when I did. Well, here's your second chance. Uh, lost my chance. I lost my spot. Don't miss the boat a second time because you let fear hold you back again. And then the emoji it's with like the, cro- the cross eyes and the tongue out. Yeah. 
<laughs> Seems like a weird spot for that emoji. I know a good opportunity when I see one, and I don't take new business decisions lightly or add things to my plate that are a waste of time or not lucrative. Because quite frankly, with a child and three businesses, I don't have extra time. Crying laughing emoji. And st still no period. And I could confidently say that I've waited six years to find something like this and add it to my revenue stream and I can promise you it's good. Like, really good. You don't want to miss out on this. The potential for anyone to be successful with this is limitless and unmatched. Whoa, limitless? Ooh. Wow. Now, please know, Monet is my baby. I love the products, the company, and my team, and I'm not going anywhere, ever. Monet has blessed my family up and down over the past six years, and I would never give it up for anything. It's taught me a lot about business and inspired me to dream bigger than I ever have before. And that's why I'm starting this too. It's always been a dream of mine to have something of my very own, something where I make 100% profit. Wow, that's quite the business. Yeah, that's <laughs> heck of a business. I'm in. <laughs> and I'm in full control. I just haven't had the tools to know how to do that until I found this. And now everything is about to change. This is going to allow me to follow my biggest passion in my biggest dream and help give all of you the tools to earn money online and create new passive income streams for yourselves that you're passionate about outside of the network marketing space, regardless of your career or background. Two prayer hands emojis. Last paragraph. Jeez. I've spent a lot of time helping just my team succeed online. And now, you get to help everyone. It's so selfless. Whether you're in network marketing or not, whether you have an online business already or not, whether you have social media experience or not, social awareness, <laughs> whether you're a stay at home mom or, or work full time, those are the only two options, of course. <laughs> I've got you, and I know you can do this. It's 2023, and the time for multiple income streams that run in the background so that you can earn money while you live your life is now, and I'm 100% here for it. If you want to link arms and have something of your own too, let me know. It's go time, baby. Microphone emoji. A little bit of a... Never <laughs> list the product? Hashtag income. Hashtag make money online at home. Hashtag make money. Hashtag... Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the... What is, what what is, is it? it? Never what said. is it? Never said. That's... DM her, dude. You know That's what? amazing yeah. pitch, actually. I am going to comment right now and say, really can you send me a message? Oh, that is outstanding. Yep. Send him a message. Let's follow up there. you learn a little more. There's a lot in there. Sorry, I forgot how long that was. It's crazy to some of the things she's saying. A business with 100% profit, whether you're a stay-at-home mom or work full-time. Never talk about it. Runs in the background. <laughs> Do you want it to have less work, <laughs> less hustle, and make way more money? That's crazy. Oh, man. Yeah, follow up there. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can't. I mean, I just you know, not even joking around. We need to sign up for that. I right. mean, it just sounds like a no brainer. <clears throat> I like that she doesn't add. She won't add anything to her plate unless it's lucrative. So, don't ask her to go to mm. dinner or anything. <laughs> no, she no, do stuff like hundred percent profit. Yes, can I? She get goes you to dinner. They pay her. Yep, yep. Like so, if I so if I sign up, ten grand. How much should I make? Ten grand. Fifty grand. Fifty grand. 100 grand, 100 grand. Hey, can I interest you? Can I put In something on your plate? Uh, it's Wagyu beef from Good Ranchers. Is it lucrative? If not, I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay. Good Ranchers. I saw, uh, all right, I went to comment, hey, I'm interested, and she has a comment. Actually, let me read through this and give you guys the Spark Notes version before I just start talking. Mm. But I think she's going to tell us what her business is. Oh. Okay, okay. She had to, like, she wanted to pull it out. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah like, yeah. have a bunch of engagement, a bunch of people comment. Smart, savvy, but um, well, I'll just spam through. It looks like a couple of days ago, I shared a lot about the done for you digital marketing course. So I guess that's what she's selling a digital. Maybe digital you create marketing. your own digital marketing course. You could you create it. a course explaining to people how to make money. Oh. And the and how to do it is to create a course telling people how to make money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not bad. That I see the hundred percent profit part. Yeah. Um. This isn't an MLM. This no, isn't of even not. really affiliate marketing. You got to throw the really in there. Like it's it's kind of like yeah. It. It's not really selling drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! You don't even have to create your own course. You just you're buying someone else's marketing course that already exists, 
you buy it, and now you try to get other people to buy that marketing course. So yeah, she's ra- she is in an MLM. So it's exactly confused. what it's it is. MLM. It's not an MLM. No, no, no. It, it's and there's no product. It's the... just I mean, it's just a course. So it's it's already nice. done. She says, yeah. Even though you own the course and it's done for you, once you buy it, you own it so that you choose how you use it. Wow. All right. Keep us posted. Get locked in on it, dude. Let's run an MLM and, and follow we, it on the podcast. Can we take the course? Yes. Yeah. We will. Yeah, you want me to get try info. to get, get it? Info. Okay, yeah, yeah I'll please. get it. Okay. Um, let's go to the next segment. Good Ranchers Beef. You guys got beef with anybody? Sponsored by Good Ranchers. Support the show, y'all. Go to goodranchers.com. Uh, we have a chance to get you free ground beef for two years. No wow. way. <laughs> yeah. What family isn't putting home some ground beef? I know we did. We did. And we, Brian, who knows it? What? Now this is quality meat you can trust. Um, so how do you win? All subscriptions to any box will receive a bonus two pounds of Good Ranchers high quality Angus ground beef in every order for two years. I mean, yeah, I'm wow. serious. Four hundred eighty dollar value. All subscribers get this for free. Ground beef. It's the best ground beef in the country. Trust it. High quality. Um, and you can lock in their price for two years while securing their supply of versatile and quality ground beef for two years as well. GoodRanchers.com. Uh, uh, use our code Family Man. Shout okay. Out, shout out Derek. Carnivore diet. This guy does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. He's oh, wow. the he's the liver the liver jester. Not quite the liver king. He's Use real code close. Family Man, <laughs> and you get twenty five dollars off any box. Fa- code Family Man twenty five dollars off twenty five dollars off any box at GoodRanchers.com. Uh, again, you can get uh, you sign up for the brand new subscription. You save twenty five bucks, and you can get free ground beef on top of that for two years. And your price locked in. So they promise not to raise the price for two years. Inflation just gets better wow. and better. GoodRanchers.com. Wow. Good Ranchers, American Meat Delivered. Uh, Katie, do you have some beef? Um, yeah, today, <coughs> actually, me. just right before we came here, um, we are working on renovating some houses. And Whoa. you are. I am. That's kind of what my project I'm working on. And Here we've we had it's been a lot for you. All these issues with the water. And so I've had to call, you know, our the city water people lots of times city water and um today i had we we're doing dealing with another issue figured it out and you know trey and i are both on the account she had already talked to me twice today and we had resolved the issue and i said okay great thank you so much and i come downstairs and she's now talking to trey <laughs> just telling her telling him the exact information she just told me and it was almost like she didn't like trust me that she had to then call him and tell him the exact same thing she just told me. Fired her up. The women do do you, do the women feel this a lot? Katie gets fired up quite a bit. She's like, I could tell. When it, like they could tell they needed to talk to you. Why couldn't they talk to me? I can smell the sexism. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you really sniff that out. The pheromones. Yeah. It's just like, why would she waste her time doing that? Well, I told her you were, you know, postpartum, and she was like, "Oh, I better repeat all this." Did you <laughs> Did you call the water company and say like, "Whatever you relate to my wife, you actually you have to call me." Up. I did call. Oh, Run out the ladder. Yeah. Wow! Wow! Yeah. <laughs> so that uh. Yeah, Katie. I was just like, Katie, we're good, right? Okay, yeah, we're good. Like good. he literally has no idea what's going on, so that's even <laughs> even more like. She's like <laughs> she literally told me that. Why she have to tell? Oh, just because you're the man, she had to tell you. Also, when we talk to the weird phone, the weird utility companies, it'll be like. One of them was like, my name was set up on it. So they're yeah. talking to her and like, we we have to talk to the account holder. Is he around? It's like, what if we're legally and I was like, bound? Yeah, I'm like, but it's just over the phone. They just hear right. like, a, they just need to hear like a male a man's voice. voice. Like, Katie, yes. what if you just went, all right, it's me now. Like, <laughs> Isn't that wild? Thomas that, the third here. Yeah. What's up? Just any anyway. any man around. I could just be like, say you're Thomas Kennedy. Hey, <laughs> treat women equally. Understood? <laughs> it, Government it, workers and utility company workers. I have a beef. Yeah. I, dude, I, I, if I want to meet you, if I meet a new person, I'm down to meet people and make friends, but I need, I want to look at you and say, show me what phone you have. If you have an Android, <laughs> I don't have time for these people anymore. Oh. I don't want, I'm cutting out all Android people in my life. Oh, wow. It's America. We use iPhones. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to get racist about it too. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> Samsung, they got their market overseas. Do your thing. America, we run on iPhones and Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> and I, it's so difficult. So, and I, a thing I've started to really notice is 
you know, you, you get, you get busier and you got a kid, all this. So I like to let my text stack up kind of like an email and I'll sit down on the laptop. Really nice feature. I can text on the laptop. Go nuts. And I go, I catch them up. So I have a dude trying to hit me on Android. I get ignored for weeks and I have to be like, sorry, dude, sorry. I want to be like, it's cause I text a lot on my devices. You're making this very difficult. I was on a plane. I get on the Wi-Fi. Oh, so I'm out the last I message people. I click send to this Android and can't send. Of course, then I figured about it. And I don't text them back. Yeah. Done with it, dude. I don't have time wow. for this. I don't have time. I can't remember the last time I got someone's number and texted them and it wasn't Android. It's horrible. It would be so alarming. I feel like everything's just an iPhone now. I think uh, Katie's family would be twice as close if they everyone get on the same page. I think, oh. I think we have a nightmare group text. Person She's got a brother being an Android user, yeah. and the group text is defunct. It can't yeah. work. Yeah, I'm married My, to one, and it's tough. Darren, I, <laughs> I wish we would have known that before we hired him. <laughs> get out of here. No. Wow. Yeah, we, we, my family group text, much iPhones. Oh, we're having fun. We're sending gifts. Air and we're dropping. Air dropping. Oh, reacting. We're sending videos. Forever keepsake videos of babies doing cute things. You send an Android group text, it comes in the size of, yeah. of like it a, looks like it was filmed like a in sunflower seed. 1980. Yeah, it was like, filmed on a toaster. Wow, yeah. Derek's married <laughs> to an Android user. She oh, has, I got her to buy an iPad. I'm like, all right, yeah. so you have this. You love it. A smaller version. What if you wanted one in your pocket? <laughs> yeah. Wow. It works. You're kind unlike of every, edge, though. Unlike every phone that she has, it has problems. She's like, no, it's just, it's just this type. Right. Yeah. They liked. It's, it's almost like, it kind of get. It's almost progressive. It's like grow. You know, our grandparents grew up like, you know, you got a, a biracial relationship. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you grow. You're growing up to wait, interfaith. Oh, oh, you're two. Now Android and iOS. Android and I. I and you can make it work. That's gonna make. I mean, yeah, no, 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 no. Listen, we don't. We're not. We don't disagree with it. It's just gonna add some complications. It's if that's the People. life you've chosen. Just know it is the road less traveled. Mm -hmm. There is only a little, some generational. I will say because, for whatever reason, the older generation. I used to, for my old job, have to program something into people's cell phones, and a lot of Google Play stores that I had to find apps. In. You found a lot of old people with the Samsung. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, what's the excuse for your freaking brother? <laughs> old soul. Is he, uh, I don't know. It's the worst too. And they're all big and bad about it. Like, well, it's, it's you know, really the, customizable. The, the features megapixels, they blow iPhone mm -hmm. out of the water. Yeah. Well, I don't know why he a specific reason. We can ask him next week. Oh, when you're out in your uh, sunscreen beach trip. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Tell you what, yeah, because they're huge in East Asia, right? Japan, it's the Sam, that's where Samsung is located. Japan, yeah, Korea. I think they're an Asian company. I don't know where they're big. They're at. where Korea, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. anyway, they should. We should get rid of it. You, <laughs> wow. Yeah, South. Korea. Do another airdrop on them. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not going to stick with that. Yeah, you guys didn't Let's even want to laugh at that. Let's add a bomb again. <laughs> you to might. get rid of it. Let's remove no casualties, clip. just the factory. It just yeah, like just a, the inventory, like a military drop. Oh, a strategic drop. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes, sends yes. a message. No casualties. It's like a okay. high fastball. You know, we're allies. We're yeah. allies. Wow, yeah. allies. Ooh. <laughs> My beef, uh, I had a different one, but I've changed it because uh, this person with the crazy dramatic reading, I was like, how do I even... <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> no more Samsung. That's Samsung. <laughs> That's Samsung. No casualties. Allies. Allies. Their own phones will blow up. Uh, I was curious how I even know this person, and so I clicked on see friendship, and the reason I know this person is because I think my junior year, I went to prom with a girl I was dating at the time. Junior year of high school, I went to prom yep. uh, with a girl who went to a different school and looks like we were uh, in the same prom picture together and must have met that night, and we've been Facebook friends ever since. So my beef is this this little photo coming at you. Well, high school... Which, wait, which one are you? High school Jake. Uh, I'm <laughs> the one in the middle that looks quite a bit like could me. You, could you describe oh. how you stand out from oh, the other guys? there we go. Which one are you? Um, uh, I'll tell you, I was the only one which, not from that of the school. Four guys, which one? I was the only one who didn't know anyone. I was the only one who looks like he was under six two, and uh, 
<laughs> yeah, some strapping young men in that photo. That's, yeah. That's not fair to you. It was a bigger school, so mm-hmm. and you know more to choose from. But yeah, I was the out of town farm boy. Uh, how'd you how'd you perform? I did all right. the uh, The prom was Egyptian themed, and I remember throughout the night being like, "I did a project on this and gifted." Uh, <laughs> you know, King Tut, only nine years old. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of rattling off Egypt facts the whole night. That's good. No. <laughs> all right. Uh, I want to know Moses or Ramesses, whose side are you on? Next so, it is. So, you, did you get asked back next the next year for your asked senior back, year? Back like it's an internship. <laughs> yeah. So they bring you on full time. Um, no, I only dated that girl probably a month or two longer. Mm. One night we went on a date to a fireworks tent, and I don't think she loved that. So uh, you want to blow stuff up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, weird. I had friends with fireworks tent. Uh, okay, uh, go to ranchers.com. Use code Family Man for the deal of a lifetime on quality meat. Get it. Let's wrap up with the little Judge Jake. It's been too long. Okay. You got your gavel around still? We lose the gavel. Oh, he's got it. Judge Jake, time. I got the gav. <clears throat> Judge Jake. Uh, Court's in session. Katie and I, what, what were we talking about? Ooh, we were maybe going to have a little argument on the way here. We haven't had one in a while. You were maybe going to have one. We have an active one going. Yeah. We'd like to you to wrap it up for us. Oh, we do? Oh, yep. I I'd like know. it to know. No, she's, know. you want to keep it going? We, we have an initial judge we, going on. I came home from golf and she just, I was like, hey, you okay? She's like, I just think we need to talk a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the word. I, uh, it's weird when you start to have a baby because you just say mean things to each other at like 2 a.m. I was like, I don't even know what I said to you. I was like, I know it was like not nice, but I, I don't know. That, I, that's even worse. You just have no idea. You're so just shouting do, out ooh, really remember, mean things. I was, ooh, you know what it was? You kept, you were really fidgety. You remember that? And you just, I felt like you were, I was like almost asleep several times and I snapped. I was like, back off, stop waking me up. And she's like, oh my gosh. And that's how we went to sleep. So, you, <laughs> so I want to apologize, but you know, why, again, why are you, why are you so tired? And then at 1130, you're flopping around. Well, you know, like when, when, if someone tells you to like not do something, that's all you can think of. Yeah. Don't think of a pink elephant. Do yeah. not think of a pink elephant. Right. If someone is just like. Constantly just being like, don't move, don't move. You're just laying there, okay, don't move, don't move. <laughs> Especially when you tell a people pleaser. I can, and I, I can tell when I, I regret it too. And I'm like, stop moving, please. If you were, and then I, I can tell she's she has just to breathe in five tense, minutes. Yeah, she becomes. And then I'm just like, the, ah! t- yeah, the most tense person. So oh, then what, oh, the next morning, Katie. In the next morning, what was it? The one night you're like. She brought it back up. She's like, stop. That's so mean. She's like, you know what's so funny? And then you moved. Yeah. As she soon brought as that said up. It. I was like, like, well, I don't mean like be a statue. Just stop moving like constantly. You can like shift. Anyway, we so, were, that's our newest thing. Katie is very tired all the time. And then she, I think she's, she's in her head at bedtime because I put pressure on her. Yeah. To judge. Uh, we're both tired. I'm trying to sleep. I don't know what to do. What, what's my next strategy for trying to get us both to sleep on time? Is this, are you willing to use a tranquility gun? <laughs> I'll do whatever it takes. I mean, that Judge, seems like the honor. first thing. I mean, I think we can get some from Broom, whatever they use on horses to kind of put them mm, yeah. somewhat asleep, not permanently. Right. But just something to relax the muscles sure, a little bit. Sure. That seems kind of a nice way to fall asleep, actually. Judge Jake, um, we actually have had this discussion before when I, was, when I was pregnant. <laughs> Plead to emotions, objection. I was Plead moving my feet a lot. <laughs> um, so it's, it's interesting that it is still a problem. <laughs> <laughs> objection. I think you both just need to be taking like some over-the-counter drugs. Trey, sleeping pill, like heavy stuff. Mm. Actually, just both take things that are meant for horses. Katie, like kind of a muscle relaxer. Trey, <laughs> sleeping medication. Mm. And then who, that seems fine. Yeah. Who work. do you think um, if like Thomas wakes up crying, like which one is like the safest ah. person to like handle <laughs> a baby at that point? Forgot about Thomas. Okay. <laughs> that had not been brought into the court uh, 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 as evidence. Yeah. He's sleeping fine. Yeah. You know what? Give yeah. him both a little bit of what you guys are having <laughs> yeah. and it won't be a problem. He, he does sleep through, through, the through, the through the milk. He yeah. does sleep through the night. But. Yeah. I'd say just avoid it by making him pass out really hard. Mm. Win, win, win. <laughs> Easy enough. Court, 
Case is closed. That's a good feeling. Can't huh, wait babe? to bring this back up next time I'm pregnant. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, are you? Love you so much. Optimistic oh, mindset. Love you so oh, much. Good. What did I? How did I make you laugh on the way here? When we were. That's the best ever, man. When you're when you're arguing with your spouse or may grow up with your mom and you and you make them you make them crack mid argument. <laughs> I think I'm too scared to try and make a joke. Just try it. It's fun. Good for you. I don't know what it was. You got a look in your eye. I'm kind of I'm kind of scared to go home. You guys want to go (laughs) hang out after this? (laughs) Now, uh, fun episode. Think that'll do it. When you listen to this, Katie and I are on the beach. And Uh, where else? White people Mecca 30A. Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> and when you're listening to this, we have a show in Kansas City this weekend, like a yep. stand-up comedy oh show. Oh, my gosh. When this comes out, yeah. <laughs> That's wild. It's next weekend. Trey's like, you're going to that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no way. Yeah. That'll be fun. Uh, thanks for all the love, Kansas City. So like, subscribe, or give us five stars. Have a great week. Appreciate you guys. Direct opinion.